Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk. And steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth. Don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Hello, I'm Professor Cohen. This is the Fork Supermodel video 87 pips in uh, 20 minutes. So, uh, we, this is the second video on that uh, subject. Uh, we did uh, 42 pips in 5 minutes, and this is uh, 87 pips, uh, well, 87.6 pips profit. In 20 minutes roughly so uh, we're Thursday the 10th of the 11th uh, if you want to uh, look at the data 20 uh, 2022 uh, we're looking at the AUD USD um, and you could have also adopted a similar approach on um, uh, the uh, a AUD JPY but uh, anyway so we'll, we'll get into it uh, so um, our, our approach is basically to uh, to stick in uh, orders just prior to the data uh, and the, the trigger data was this US CPI uh, uh, consumer price index data which was coming out at 1.30 uh, GMT so uh, UK time uh, and so we stuck in an order uh, by order just prior to that uh, and, uh, and waited for it to be filled or otherwise and we got this uh, significant spike uh, up due to the uh, the the way the data fell and the setup and we'll talk about the setup now so i mean these are achievable trades if you're uh, if you're if you're struggling with trading and you've got reasonable control over them so uh, anyway so uh, why did we have a go at this one well uh, you had this initial uh, sort of catalyst trigger data if you like was early morning uh, the AUD uh, consumer inflation expectations came in uh, so that's Australia came in at six percent, and they're expecting five point seven. So, so you had this like this positive AUD data, which the market wasn't really uh, paying any attention to, because this dominant US CPI consumer price index data was due out at one thirty. So uh, that was the basic setup. So, so we already so we knew we wanted to deal with an AUD pair, uh, and uh, pr uh, probably uh, on a US. US pair as well, a USD pair, and so we got this AUD USD uh, crossover. We were saying we originally we were thinking about um, doing uh, AUD uh, JPY, uh, uh, which had a similar result, but uh, anyway, we went for this one in the end. So, uh, anyway, we uh, so just about three or four minutes before uh, uh, two, well, actually, two or three minutes before this data came out. Uh, we, we stuck a, a, an at the market order in, uh, so we had a buy order uh, for the AUD USD uh, at about, um, what was it, uh, uh, 0 0.6, uh, 64235 as far. So we stuck in our buy order uh, uh, and we were, so our main concern was not getting it filled before the data. Uh, and uh, uh, and that that was that. So we start, and we already knew this setup was uh, was happening, uh, and so we and we had a good idea of the transmissions that would happen. So so uh, in the end, uh, we stuck this buyer order in. We waited for the data. The CPI came out uh, uh, soft, which basically meant that you then had this uh, this double uh, both barrels really in your favour because you had strong AUD data. Um, and weak USD data uh, in the very short term, and you've got this knee-jerk spike, uh, which uh, and on the on the on the thirty-minute graph, you can see uh, uh, you're looking at about um, 154.2 uh, pips, and on the ten-minute, uh, which is directly after the data, uh, you're looking at about plus one two three uh, point eight. Uh, from that, from the opening, so that's from the opening to the high. Uh, and as we said, you know, you're unlikely, you won't get that because because your order's placed above the market. Our order was about eight to ten points, uh, so eight, eight, eight to ten points above the market. Uh, so you've lost that already. 
and then the likelihood is you're not going to get out of the top. So uh, we were quite well short of that, obviously. Uh, we, we didn't hang around in the market as, uh, as long as all that. So um, uh, one, two, three. So you lost at least 10 to start with, so you're down to about 110. Uh, and then we've got nearly 90 units here. Uh, where are we? N nearly 90 units. So we, we clipped about 20 off off the 10 minute uh, spike basically so so we lost 10 so we lost lost about 30 30 pips from maximizing out on the 10 minute uh, spike which wasn't bad uh, pretty good in fact uh, and we're only in the market so relatively short time uh, and uh, that's that's the way we like to trade at the moment so uh, so just to recap then if you want to have a go uh, at uh, data bounce trading, uh, have a look at our data bounce trading video. Uh, but the, but the, real, the real skill with it is recognising uh, recognizing the potential scenario that can happen before it happens, obviously. So, so uh, you, you get this heads up with this uh, AUD data. Uh, everybody's aware of that, but the, you can see that the market was not really paying much attention to it because it was subordinate to the, uh, the main trigger, which was the CPU, US CPI. Uh, and then uh, the US C CPI came in soft, which was very nice, thank you very much. Uh, and then you got this uh, knee jerk bounce. Uh, and and that's, that's the key to it. I mean, obviously if the CPI is coming strong, you wouldn't have got this bounce. You, it had probably dirged around and, and uh, uh, not really moved that much. But uh, we, got, we got the good end of it, uh, and that's, uh, that's the way uh, you can make some money in, the, in a really short period of time in trading. Uh, and uh, the, your, your, your risk factors are obviously is that, is that uh, you get, get some sort of whipsaw where, where the market charges up and down like this and, and takes your order out and then goes against you. Uh, but you can have a stop in there, so if you have about a 20 point stop, uh, you, can, uh, you can cope with that. Uh, and uh, and the other risk factor obviously is, is that the data doesn't actually do it for you and you end up doing the work and not getting any reward for it but that's just hard luck so uh, so that's the second one we've done uh, so you call that 90 points and the other one was 42 point odd so I call that 40 so that's 130 pips or points uh, in in two weeks uh, with a maximum of about uh, 25 minutes uh, exposure in the market, which is which is pretty good. I think you uh, you can say so uh, Anyway, that's what we're doing. That's the style of trading, which we think uh, is quite effective and uh, relatively uh, uh, Good risk reward uh, and you've got control over it You don't have to be glued to the screen uh, and all the rest of it. So uh, anyway, I hope that was useful uh, If you've got any uh, thoughts uh, drop them in the comment box uh, and other than that, uh, see you for next time. So thanks for watching and goodbye.